It will never be known who received an email detailing a sexual assault at a western suburb school that was kept from parents for two years. Political reporter Tom Richardson joins us live with exclusive breaking news. Tom, what's the latest development? Well, the email has been a key piece of evidence in the fallout of the case, including the DeBell Royal Commission. We know Mark Christopher Harvey, a school carer, was arrested for child sex offences. Then J Education Minister Jay Weatherall's Chief of Staff Simon Blewett was notified of the arrest by email. An email he forwarded to someone but insists he can't remember to whom. A parliamentary inquiry ordered an investigation by Telstra and the government's chief information officer to find out who received that email. Now we can reveal that investigation has concluded and the committee notified late this afternoon that the search turned up no new evidence. A Telstra scan failed to find the missing email. Now we've contacted committee chair Rob Brokenshire who concedes it was a long shot but confirms to him procedures for advising ministers on serious sexual abuse were flawed. But it will be welcome news for Labor as the election battle turns increasingly nasty. Almost at the finish line and the Liberals are guaranteeing regional development funds to help relocate the Murray Bridge race course to new digs. This is part of our uh, narrative which is to uh, support jobs growth. But the campaign narrative has taken a turn for the nasty. The opposition calling on the ALP to disendorse its candidate for the Wyala based seat of Giles, Eddie Hughes, over a 30 year old conviction for assaulting a police officer. Labor sticking to its script. It was a serious mistake, there's no doubt about that, but he was a young man. He was young and stupid and made a mistake. Ultimately it's up to the people of Wyala to make a judgement. And they'll give the appropriate weight to these things. These things aren't irrelevant, of course, people need to make judgements about them. The Liberals pointing out Jay Weatherall argued for their candidate in Ramsey to be sacked for criticising voters on social media. Use the same principle, don't be a hypocrite. Eddie loves Wyala. the Liberals hate Salisbury. Voters are entitled to know, uh, in relation to uh, a candidate for office, what their criminal record is. But on the campaign trail, these things have a habit of coming back to bite you. Labor revealing the Liberal candidate for Torrens, Michael Mineta, was convicted in the late 90s for drink driving, with a blood alcohol reading of 0.159. Now, Did your candidate in Torrens declare a conviction for drink driving? Well, I'm not aware of that. Mr Mineta insists his conviction is spent and was declared to the party when he nominated. I think people form their own view, don't they, about what they think is relevant and what they think is not relevant. People will use their own common sense and make their own judgments about uh, uh, people's uh, pasts. Tom Richardson, Nine News.